What's going on, everybody? I am here with Mr. Nico Almeida. And congrats. Uh, Project Games here had a Phantom Nightmare case tournament, and you were first at the Swiss, right? Yep. yep. Uh, bad beats in time in Top Cut, but it'd be like that. In time. But you're playing what is considered to be the best deck in the room uh, of the format. Uh, before we jump right in, any shout outs? Uh, shout out to my boy Solo Games, to Prodigy Games. And to all my friends in South Florida. Shout out to y'all. Alright, so let's jump into the list. Alrighty, so starting the list. This is the strongest engine in the game. Wanted, Sinful, Spoils, and Diabell Star. This is like, if you're not playing this, you're crazy. This is the best engine in the game. Power creep at the finest. Then we're going to the Snake Eyes. I was testing out today Divine Temple. This car is insane. Uh, you can quadruple play through Nib. Uh, when your opponents activate their princes, this card can get you your combo going. So like, it always, it's very nice to break the board, Fire King board. Um, follow up, the one Flame Burge, the one Oak, Mandatory, in my opinion, because it's insane follow up and help you play through Nib on the standard combo. Riash. Double Populous, let's go, I win. Triple One Fire, and the one extended the one for one. This card's crazy. Uh, you will see, because of my side deck, this card was insane the whole day. When they tried to, they, they, when my opponent thinks that they have all my interruptions settled, I just go for one for one and proceed to combo. And like, this helps break so many boards and kill the opponent afterwards. This deck is insane. Like You don't even need non-engine cards to, to break the boards, and that's what happened the whole day in the sneak peek and in the tournament today. So for the Fire King engine, so we can make space for non-engine cards, I just do the bare minimum of it. One Sanctuary, one Island, one Circle, one Ponyx, one Arvata, one Garunix, and the best car of the Fire King engine, the Kirin, help you dodge everything. I think this is the, it's not the bare minimum, there's an argument to cut uh, Sanctuary, but I like Sanctuary as a sender for all my Fire King cards. But I think this raises the ceiling of the deck a little bit more. So I think it's nice to play those cards instead of playing the Peter. So going through the non-engine cards, I'll go Triple Draw and Lock. Triple Imperm, Triple Ash. I know it's controversy, some people are citing this out, some people are not even cutting, but I think like a well-timed Ash against the Mirror. You can always do like a two for one trade because they have to send something for their field. So at some points, if you time it well, you can get choke point for the deck. Um, I mostly play Mirrors here, so this was kind of nice. And even if they go to a princess play, you should have some recursion to stop. You should have some combos to stop them play. Triple nib, which everybody's afraid. I think in the beginning of the format is mandatory. This card is crazy. Even on simplified game stays, when they're trying to push for game, you can just drop the nib. Doesn't work if you have a princess on your field. Kind of screw me on top eight. <laughs> uh, double talents, because it's a hand trap format. So this card, most often in Artist Eyes Alive, and Call by the Grave, which is on its own a board breaker. So that's for the non-engine. 41 cards in the main, because the mat, it's irrelevant going 40 to 41. You're talking about decimal points. So for everybody that's fixated on 40, doesn't matter, put in calculator. Uh, side deck or extra? Your choice. Extra, we'll start with the level. Let me go the other way around. I put in actually. We're starting for low. I was testing this car out. Because you can put so many uh, on the Fire King mirror, the opponent puts so many cards on the table that <clears throat> that they always will have to play into this. So it's kind of nice. You always have like a target to grab something. Another cool thing too, that when you go to the Zetlanis combo and they have a too big of a board, you can actually move their cards and place it on the animal column, make them make them play into the animal column, they steal the card that you wanted. So this is kind of clean. Plus it's a dark, so it helps it to go to our uh, to dark. Link or Rebo, mandatory. IP, mandatory for the combo. 
Hita, the best card in the deck, like helps you break on your board. Dark also steals the opponent witch. This card is insane. Sunlight Wolf, mandatory for the combo. S P mandatory for the format. So here's a play a little different card. Play Phoenix. Uh, this card is nice because you can bait it out back roads. You will pitch, but most often than not, you always have like link arrows. So you always have like a you always have a call link, so you draw a card that can pop boards. Um, uh, it's it's very nice to bait it back rows. Like if your opponents have a um, super polished set, you can use it. Plus it's a fire, so have the synergy. You can play it under Princess. It, it's a nice card overall. Then we go Heat Soul for the combo. I play two Princes because this is the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Uh, the first one is done for the combo. The second one comes up in case the opponent because this is the prime target for call by, so release anything. So it's always nice to have like a second copy for the grind game. But this card is insane. So I'll, I'll rather have two than have just one and lose it. This card is insane. Uh, Ambo Wayer for the combo, Appaloosa for the combo, and the OTK machine. This card's insane. Like as long as the opponent has one monster on the board, you can pretty much OTK with just a single a body plus a flame burst, like those cards are crazy. 15 cards for the extra. <clears throat> Side deck, I win. A bit of a power spell route, because I have so many hand traps in the main. I decided to play three bell. I have yet to side those cards in. I don't think a side I would say lab, right? Lab. I don't think I needed to play that card, and there's no lab here, so that card's probably my next one cuttable. I, I never feel the need to play it. Kurkara, this card is it's nice because it's in engine you can search it <clears throat> and acts like an extra body on the board as long as when you're trying to break board, so I really like it. Cosmic is a mandatory, in my opinion, is a mandatory card because you can just hit. You just hit the island, board right Gaki, and continue to play. Anti spell is in the format, so you needed your spells to play, especially in my in my side deck. I decided to play triple thrust. This card is extremely versatile. I play a lot of like normal spells that are extremely powerful, so I have the ability to search and modify the game state in my favor is insane because you. Because in case I go first and my opponent hand trap me, which is very common in this format, I have a DDG. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I put those three. If I know that I'm playing the mirror and I'm going for and I'm going first and my opponent trying to hand trap me, I just do thrust for DDG and then they don't have a turn. I play a soul release. <clears throat> is, since it's the beginning of the format, I think players are not playing around it or they don't know how to. There's various ways to, to play around this card. As the beginning of the format, this card is an absolute blowout. You play this card, break the whole board, and normal summon Ash in <laughs> game. Uh, Monster Reborn, this card is crazy. This is this is an extender going first and a board breaker going second. There's a Monster Reborn, get their princess, your opponent is like, okay, there's nothing that they can do to stop you. So. Harpy, a thrust target. And change of heart, stealing, stealing this format is pretty nice because they always end with the Appaloosa or Emboeo. If they're, if they're playing around Super Poly, they usually keep one fire monster only. So if you go change of heart, take the singular fire monster, and now the princess in the graveyard is torn off, and you can just go off. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you very much. And we'll see you do good at the next big event. Let's go.